Clements Homebrew coming at ya. Hey, Kevin here. I've got a, I've got something different for you today. I really haven't heard anything about this. I, I just saw it uh, when I went in the shop today. Uh, but I've got a brew called He Said. Now this is a series. It's two different beers, and it's a collaboration between uh, Elysian and Twenty First Amendment Brewing. Um, so one out of Seattle, Washington, and one out of San Francisco. The one I'm going to be reviewing tonight is a Belgian-style triple with, brewed with pumpkin and spices. But they've got another one, which I'll be doing, both he said. Now, I was like, well, where's the she said one, right? <laughs> they've got another one I'll try tomorrow, which is a... Uh, uh, Porter. It's it's a Baltic style porter lager brewed with pumpkin and spices. So that should be interesting. But we'll start off with this one today. Both of them are 8.2%. So really kind of fun. <laughs> and you'll notice one of them is uh, uh, lighter and one's darker. It's kind of like they do a reverse thing on there. But anyway, uh, while I get this opened up, I'll tell you a little bit. It's it's. Uh, Brewed with um, both pumpkin puree and pumpkin juice, and they used a Trappist ale yeast, and uh, they also put in it um, tarragon uh, and gallangal. So honestly, I don't know what gallangal is. It's something I'm going to have to look up. I might do that in a little break in between on this whole thing. I can already smell this thing, so holy smokes. And I know that they did use a Trappist ale yeast. All right, well, this is a lighter pumpkin beer side, very golden with some orange hues, uh, very clear. It's got a really beautiful one and a half finger head, kind of really very frothy white colored, absolutely white. All right, let's get a nose on it. <laughs> this has got a really fun smell. I mean, really wonderful. I mean, I'm getting really bright pumpkin aromas. Uh, you, you can tell that it's a lighter style, really bright, really floral and fragrant. And I, I do get uh, the, the, some of the spices on that. To me though, it smells like there's also some nutmeg on it. But again, I don't know what this gal and gal is, so we'll go back and look at that later. And you can tell, you know, you get a hint of that Trappist ale yeast, but the pumpkin, you know, is, is on the brighter side of the whole thing. That's just, that's fun. It's, it's just a really nice, sweet aroma on that. That's, that's something different. All right, cheers. Here we go. I kind of like this one. I kind of really do. Okay, so this just has a really nice creamy pumpkin taste to it. Not what I was expecting, but it's it's very creamy feeling. It's it's almost like a cream ale in a sense, and it just is coating my mouth with this creamy yummy flavor it has that sweetness that you'll you'll get from like a triple um, but it's very light filling and it's just this really nice pumpkin taste on it very light though but still coating the whole mouth it's just so nice it's just so nice on the mouth this is interesting because they use puree, which I can tell, but they use pumpkin juice as well. I just, I haven't had anything like this to describe before. Very unique. I'm going to take a moment with this one. I needed a, a greater frame of reference, so I went and looked up Gal and Gal. Gal and Gal is a, basically, there's a couple names for it. One of them is Thai Ginger. Or blue ginger so it's a root like ginger it has like a ginger like flavor I was like okay this makes me think of pumpkin seasoning that was it I wasn't picking it up so it's like a ginger flavor but then you got the tarragon in it and you know if you're not sure what tarragon smells like go stick your nose in the bottle I did that too and I can pick up on those 
And, and the balance that they did with it actually, I think, is really very nice. Um, because the pumpkin's just very sweet. Like I said, it's very creamy. Uh, the Trappist Ale part, the yeast, uh, isn't overbearing on it. It didn't take it in any particular direction harshly. I mean, it's just, it's very well balanced. I'm just, I'm shocked. I, I had no great expectation here whatsoever. It just works really well. They just, they just did a really good job. I don't know how else to really describe this other than what I've said. Can you really rate this on stale? I mean, what kind of a style is this? Is it a Belgian triple? Is it a, is it a Belgian pumpkin triple? Um, I don't think, I think it's in that other category, you know, specialty beers, and I don't think you can rate it in those terms, but I can rate it on an overall. Um, I, I'm just taken back. This is definitely a, a B plus beers. It's, it's not gonna fall into that excellent or world-class category, but it's very, very good. So it's in that B plus category. Yeah. Yeah, this is fun. I'm gonna have to grab another can. This is very fun. All right. Uh, so I think I'm giving this one an 88. B plus, straight up. Fun beer. <laughs> I'm just tickled. All right, here it is. Hopefully you can see it. He said a Belgian style triple ale brewed with pumpkin and spices. It's 8.2% ABV. And again, this is uh, made by 21st Amendment and um, Elysian Brewing, a collaboration brew. Very fun. I'd say it's worth getting a can. They sell them in four packs, so two of each, uh, and some places sell separate, which is what I did. So I got one can of each, but uh, I might have to go back for another. So from Clement's Home Brewing, just saying life is too short to drink cheap beer. And sometimes you get some really unique beers. <laughs> I'll see you in the next beer review. See you guys.